Severa Danets being sort of the, uh, the, the spearhead of where operations are taking place at the moment. Um, what we see is a form of offense defense, action reaction, uh, sort of compelling military advances or attempts at military advances from Russia and counter offensives and defense being led by the Ukrainian armed forces resisting the onslaught of um, of Russian advances. So this, what we see in Severodonetsk is also represented in other parts of Donbass. Um, this is going beyond a form of attrition. We are definitely leading to a protraction of the conflict with military forces being pinned down on both sides without being able to achieve strategic effects, namely being able to gain quickly or seize quickly more territory than expected. So it is basically turning into a phase, a sort of new phase of this conflict, where it is no longer about clear advances along the front line. It really is about fighting street after street, city after city. Well, right now it really is about street after street in Severodonetsk, for instance. Uh, and this is something that is likely to continue for months. Uh, in, specifically in Donbass. Therefore, we will see for the coming few weeks, coming few months, this sort of double movement between um, attrition and protracted conflict on the one hand, and then on the other hand, the first movements and the first signals of Russia trying to be more present administratively, politically, economically, socially, you know, religiously, all across societal parts inside these occupied territories, maybe with the intent, and this is probably more than a maybe, with the intent to uh, integrate these territories, turn them into maybe part of Russian territory per se, proper.